Hello friends, this video on data handling part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So again we will now look at finding arithmetic mean. So we will take the same example of student scores. So these are the scores of the different students in the class. Now we already saw that arithmetic mean is equal to sum of the values of items divided by the number of items. So here sum of values would be something like this 75 plus 45 plus 70 plus 70 plus 42 plus 55 plus 61 plus 71 plus 80. So this is the sum of the values divided by the number of items. So here items would refer to the number of students. So how many students do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this divided by 9. So we see the sum is 569 divided by 9 which comes out to be 63.2. So this is the average score of the class. That means if we assume that all the nine students in the class got equal marks, then each of them would have got 63.2. Now when you look at this value 63.2, it lies somewhere in between the minimum value, which is the minimum value here, 42. So 42 is the minimum value and which is the maximum value? 80 is the maximum value. So when you look at this value, it lies somewhere in between 42 and 80. So it is greater than 42, but it is less than 80. So with this, we can say that mean gives a measure of the central tendency of a group of data. So whenever we have a group of data, maybe we have a score of uh, some 100 students in a class. So the value of mean will give us the central tendency of the group of data. That means uh, like in this case, when you look at the average score or when you look at the arithmetic mean, it is 63.2. It lies somewhere in between the data. That is, the minimum value starts from 42 and the maximum value goes up to 80. So 63.2 lies somewhere at the central region of 42 and 80. Because if you start arranging the score in increasing order like this, 42, 45, then 55, then 61, then 70, then 70, then 71 and so on. So you would see that 63.2 lies somewhere in between. So it lies somewhere in the central region. Therefore, the value of arithmetic mean gives a measure of central tendency of a group of data. So now we will talk about another important aspect that is called range of data. Now, instead of the asking the overall performance of a class, if the principal asks the class teacher, what is the range of students score in your class? Now, what is the meaning of range of score? Now, the term range always means uh, the spread of data. That means Let's say that this is the score of different students in the class. Now, when we talk about range, we, we, what we want to see is that means the marks obtained by different students, they are spread in what range? They, they are lying between what number till what number? So that is called the range. So range is nothing but the spread of data. So it indicates the spread of a group of data. So when you look at this example, you see that the minimum value here is 42 and the maximum value is 80. So you can say that the range of data lies somewhere between 42 to 80. So this defines the range of data. That means all the values or all the scores of students, they lie somewhere within this range of 42 to 50. So if I ask you to calculate the range, so the range will be equal to 80 minus 42. That means the difference between the highest value and the lowest value. And this comes out to be 38. That means the spread of the data is over 38 values. So all the data or whatever score we have, that score has to lie within these 38 values. The value, so the scores are spread among 38 values from 42 to 80. So this 38 is called the range of the score of students. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.